I'm sipping, sipping, sipping in slippers. I'm feeling, I'm feeling so fine. There's nothing, no oh, nothing, no. Oh, there's nothing better than drinking a fine glass of wine. So put on your slippers and pour me some wine. Red, white, or rose, they will have a good time. And maybe a Chianti or a nice Chardonnay. How about a Merlot or a Chicky Bonnier? Italian or French or Rioja from Spain. Six bottles later and it all tastes the same. And it might taste turkey and it can taste cherry. And it can sometimes taste like a strawberry. So cap break and cap full in a long taxi home. Wrong turn at Tuscany and ended up at Rome. So take off your slippers and put down the glass. Just drink from the bottle cause you're drunk off your butt. Sipping, sipping. And suppers, I'm feeling, I'm feeling so fine. There's nothing, ain't nothing, no, there's nothing better than drinking a fine glass of wine. <laughs> And this is the Sipper, Sipping and Slippers team again for a pandemic pouring live on Friday night and tonight from my bad introduction. You can tell this is a night of all about drinking French wine. We have a white, a rosé, and two reds. We're going to be tasting a Gabrielle Maffre Cote de Rhone white, Saint Vincent, a Gerard Bertrand uh, Cote de Rosé 2018. Uh, Bourguignon uh, Gamay, uh, Louis Leture, 2018, and a Gerard Bertrand, 2016, Corvières. And if you you missed it, but he'll come back and visit his again. Uh, also joining us tonight is Moiché, and this is the Birds of Wiener Wiener Dogs <laughs> Wiener. It's said in a bone shape. <laughs> And our team, if you don't remember us, I'm Original Sip, now being called OG, apparently. And we've got a little French hip-hop in the background, if you haven't noticed. And we've got Simple Sip, say hello. Hello, hello. And we have Snooty Sip, who is very appropriate for French wine. I'm very French. She's very French. She loves her French wine. Yes, she's very snooty. <laughs> All right. We also have cheese that we are going to prepare. <laughs> We're going to prepare cheese tonight. So we have uh, Strasbourg from Holland. We have a blue cheese from Denmark. We have a camembert from France. And we have an Emmertal from Switzerland and a uh, cheddar from Ireland. And unfortunately, we're missing Slamming and Nick. She, she might be showing up. She might be sneakily showing up later. Uh, but we are going to just try different cheeses with our wines and see if they're good or not. And uh, we have our first wine ready, and uh, original sip is going to start We're starting off already? with that. Okay, perfect. So this is the, get right into it. the Gabriel. Dive in, folks. This is the Gabriel Maffre Cote de Rome 2018 Saint Vincent, and the, the grapes, the varietals in it are Viognier, which is very dominant as a Cote de Rome wine, a uh, Grenache, a Claret, and a Roussan. So this, this is a blend of, of Cote de Rhone white wines, and let's see what we we get on the nose, first of all. So, a simple step. Oh, don't, don't go to me first. Go to, go to Snooty first. Go to Snooty. She's so I Snooty. It. I know. She's so, <laughs> she should be the first think, off of I think it wine. smells very fresh. It smells like a like a spring garden. Like, That's or a cop-out. Like, it's very floral. It like is very a patio floral. patio garden. It smells amazing. I. I say very floral on the nose. Yeah, it, it smells so clean and so nice and fresh. It smells like summer. This was a big hit, this wine, too, at the International Wine Festival this year. Uh, their, In Vancouver. Their wine maker was there, and they were at a few of the different events, plus actually the wine tasting in the big festival park. And they are fantastic, very good price wines too. If you want to get French wine, you don't have to spend a lot of money. You can start with twenty dollars and have an amazing wine. And one of the things I love about a French wine is they're always so delicate and refined, and 
even from the color, this is very pale, yellow, white wine. And on the nose again, I say floral and, and some, some stone fruit. Beautiful. Maybe something like a pear. Nothing like as punchy as a peach. Mm, I'd say maybe a peach. Maybe, maybe pear or... A punchy peach? Like even like <laughs> apricot. Not, I've never been punched by a peach. <laughs> no, but I mean peach has a really maybe like... Maybe in France they a heavier, <laughs> A heavier flavor was what I meant by it. Because I, like, I have a difficult, me being simple sip, the dum dum, I have a bit of a difficult time like putting a fruit to this. Guess what you say? I get the. <laughs> it's patio fruit. I get, I get the floral, obviously. And it smells like great. Is that correct? I think so, yeah. What do you think? What do you think? I said, what do you think? Guess what you want? It's a clean, clean wine, that's for sure. Snooty, guess what you want? Some of the the lighter the lighter lighter red berries like maybe strawberry raspberry in there from a Grenache and a Grenache is a very full body light um, skinned wine of uh, grapes. Small part of this wine maybe though. Yeah, I did a lot of blends. And France likes the Grenache. Balance. Oh, Grenache is wine. definitely yeah one of the favorites. Yes. Very hard to get as a single varietal, yeah. but very nice though when you can get it. Amazing. Absolutely. I, I think this is fantastic. I can sit and drink this whole oh, bottle it's, it's before delicious. I go on to yeah. the next one. And this is available at BC liquor stores. L L C B O. Most yeah. most uh, pretty stores. much most liquor stores actually. Yeah. This is very easy to get wine and it's under twenty dollars. So très bien. Très bien. And, you know, we met the winemaker, he's very nice, he's awesome. He's fantastic. So nice. So we highly Pardon our French. So yeah, we're not insulting anybody French. We're really just trying here. Yeah. <laughs> it's very hard to be French. <laughs> All right, so let's go to our ratings. I give this two slippers and a dog. <laughs> I give this two slippers. I'm, I'm, I'm one and a half. I go two slippers and, and my dog. <laughs> one and a half is still a good rating. One and a half is still good. Should we maybe be doing it in French? Two, two slippers? Un, deux. Two slippers. So, uh, two, two, two. I'm not. <laughs> two, four, six, so. Six. Six. Six slippers. Six point no, five. five. And no, five and a half. Okay. Sink. Sink in a bit. 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 I think that's pretty good. We're, 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 we're going to vote for Slam that sip, and we're going to give it two from her, too. So. I think she, oh, she would have already drank half the bottle. Yeah, she would have liked this yeah, one. Yeah, she likes it. She would have got it. Like it. Sip nice in the pub. And if over, over Sip was here from our original team, again, he would have probably competed with Slam and Sip, and it would be gone. So cheers cheers to remembering Over Sip from our cheers. original team. Over Sip. Over right. Sip. Bring him back with this, uh, with this, uh... And they kicked me out. We're gonna learn a couple new French words and be right back with our second line and maybe do a better job for our... Cheers! Cheers! We'll be back in a minute. Welcome back, Home Alone... Welcome back, Home Alone Winos. This is the Sipping and Slippers team. In case you forgot us, I'm Original Sip. OG, as they now call me. This is Simple Sip. And this is Snooty Sip. And we have a little French hip hop in the background, so we've been tasting French wines all night. We started with a Gabriel Meffre Cote de Rome 2018 white that was fantastic. Then we followed that with a Gerard Bertrand Cote de Rosé 2018. And now we are going to taste a Bourguignon, Bourguignon, I don't know how to pronounce it, Gamay. Bourgogne. Bourgogne. Uh, Gamay, 2018 Louis Latour, and we're going to have Simple Sip introduce this wine, and then we're going to judge it on the on the nose and the palate like we always do. But French wines, you can't beat them; they're fantastic. All right, folks. So 
This Bourgogne Gamay, made of 80% Gamay, coming only from the top Beaujolais Cruce Vineyards. Beaujolais. Beaujolais. Beaujolais Cruce Vineyards is also a 15% Pinot Noir from the slopes of Burgundy. Brings structure and minerality, creating deliciously silky wine with seductive flavors of... You can't tell us until we've tasted it. Let's see if we can figure this out, folks. I definitely am the, I'm very fruity. Oh, oh gee, what do you got very, very red fruit. I, I, I smell like raspberry or something like red Great, fantastic red fruits there. It's fantastic. Anyone know? And a little bit of spice. Fruit is in French? Uh, no. Fruities. Fruities. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I definitely, I don't know if I'm right, but my nose says raspberries and a little spice, but definitely red fruit. Is this some cherries, maybe? Mm, this is lovely. Are we, okay. I'm just tasting it. We won't. We, I, I know well. this could go well with cheese. Or for my, on, on, the, on the palate, I taste again raspberry. I don't know because my brain thinks that's what it is, but I definitely taste raspberry. Beaujolais is, if I'm going to drink wine every day, Beaujolais is my go to. Beaujolais is the best wine to drink. It goes well with food, without food, on the patio, inside, sad, happy. Beaujolais is a wine for everyone. Well, again, Beaujolais from France is always a very delicate wine. It's always got very soft tannins typically. Um, I find this very fantastic. And if you don't know much about French wine, we know a little bit about Beaujolais. So Beaujolais is a region in France. And then Bourgogne is... Bourgogne. Uh, we don't know really actually how to say that, but that is a very good area in Beaujolais. There's Beaujolais Village. If you're looking in the liquor store, that's a very good Beaujolais. If you're going Bourgogne. This, this smells so fruity, like so, like, um, uh, like, Candy fruit. Candy. Mmm. Yeah. Go well with the gummy bears. Not, the gummy bears. It's not <laughs> quite the same like on the mouth as the nose. The like, nose it's, a, it's really uh, very red berry on the nose. Oh, we have to go live request. Hang on. Who do we have? Oh, oh I'm gonna a, guess. It's a surprise. It's a surprise. Oh, we're waiting. Wait. Oh. Oh, look at that. It's Slamming it, sip. Slamming it, Slamming sip. It, <laughs> You're missing sip. out on some good wine and cheese, buddy. <laughs> Slamming it, sip. She's showing us her bike. I don't know what's happening here. Does she have her slippers on? I'm not sure what she's doing. If she's not wearing her slippers, we should just cut her off. She's showing. She's showing us all her shoes. I think. <laughs> I think she's been slamming it a little <laughs> too much tonight. Well, yeah, this is what happens when you let slamming it sip loose. <laughs> we usually monitor her. Oh, yeah, but even still, even in the cage, she drinks a lot of wine. <laughs> there we go. Now I see some slippers. There you go. Okay. Cheers, cheers, slamming it. Hey. We're, we're missing you. Welcome back, Home Alone Winos. Another Friday Night Live pandemic pouring. And now we're going to taste our final wine of the night. But just to recap what we've done so far, we've done a Gabriel Maffre Cote de Rhone 2018 white. Uh, we've had a Gerard Bertrand Cote de Rose 2018 rose. We've had a Bourgognier Gamay 2018 Louis Leter. And now for the finale of the evening, Ooh. we are going to try a Gerard Bertrand 2016 Corbieris, or Corbieris, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, uh, in Francais. Uh, and, and we've already had one of our guest visitors, Rhonda, who's drank apparently the whole bottle of this. She, she got a preview. We're her. assuming it's with this. Yeah. Uh, apparently this wine goes very well with a, a grilled steak, and apparently that's what she has Well, today. let's see. We'll see if we can add her on live. We're new to this technical world. So this wine is a blend. It's called a, a GSM blend. It's a Grenache, a Syrah, and a Mouvadre, which is a very, a very well-known French blend. Oh, well, we have Rhonda now. Rhonda! Uh, help me, Rhonda. Help, help me, Rhonda. Help us review and taste this wine. What did you think of this wine, Rhonda? Oh, yeah. so how many slippers would
would you give this wand? If you were reading it with your slippers. It's two. You two, only have you, two you feet. You only have two feet, Rhonda. <laughs> well, you and you and Murray have four feet. <laughs> oh, good. Two slippers up. Two slippers. Fantastic. Two slippers. Tapie, fantastic. There you go. You've got a very complex blend of a Grenache, a Syrah, and a Vaudre. So you're going to have, from a Grenache, you're going to have the red berries, a Syrah, you're going to have the spices. And then from a Vaudre, you're going to have all the earthy, all the earthy minerality. Elements. Yeah, the min minerality. Um, so you're going to have a perfect blend of a French wine. Uh, again, perfect for grilled steaks. So hopefully you enjoyed it. You look like you're having a very nice time in your slippers with your wine. There's nothing better than sipping in slippers. <laughs> sipping in slippers. <laughs> well, we're so glad you're enjoying them. Our number one fan. And thanks for doing this. I learned a lot. So, so now I don't know if too many... <laughs> oh, come on, Rhonda. <laughs> But we have fun. We, we have a lot of fun. We, we learn a little bit. Come on, people learn a little bit. We give you enough that you can go then and learn on your own and experiment on your own. So, so now we're gonna taste this and smell this and see what we think because we already heard what Rhonda said. Yeah, and well, she's she's our you know a, a guest is an expert always. I think a little pepper. Well, it's definitely yeah. spice. Yeah, you're gonna, spice. you're gonna get the spice from the syrah and. Then you're gonna get dark cherries. You're gonna get the dark the, cherries, or blackberries. You're gonna get the dark berries cherries. from the Grenache, and then, like I say, you're gonna get the earthiness from your Mouvadre. Well, let's try that. Mouvadre, or however you pronounce that. On the nose, it's very complex. I would say it's a very, it's a very pronounced, very complex wine on the nose. Mmm. Mmm. That's just all kinds of good. Oh, on the palate, that is absolutely heaven. Smells like money, tastes like money. Oh, that's a lot of things going on as soon as you taste it. I'd almost start eating red meat for this one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> right. Uh, I don't think so. We can have a Beyond Meat Burger Grill. There you go. I'll eat some portobellos with these. Yeah, Beyond, I can Beyond. see that. Portobellos Actually, are... now you say that, like, I could see that. Mushrooms would be good. Anything with earthiness, it would be great. Yeah, the so, yeah, mushrooms. The, well, the Mubadri, uh actually gives it like a wild, gamey, earthy smell and flavor. So you're going to get that from that, and then you're going to get all what you love and know from Grenache. Any of you hunters out there, your bambies and pheasants. This is the well. perfect blend of three varietals <laughs> that's going to give you everything you love, from the berries to the spice to the earthiness. But even, like, I'm it's very nice, and you can, as you taste it, and you and you sort of think about it, the finish gives you all. You start thinking about a lot of different things. I keep going. Like how many more glasses of this? Yeah, yeah. How many more I, bottles? Are I just this kept going with have? the mushrooms. And what like, French words would I use to describe this? Fantastic, magnificent, mag, what is it? Magnifique, 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 and très bien. Uh, oui, oui, c'est bon. Clearly, <laughs> <laughs> we're masters in French. Yeah. Masters is like. Mes <laughs> This is a fantastic, <laughs> magnifique wine. Vin. Vin. And then we're going to try some fromage with this. So, what like, cheese are you I'm going to say because this is more like meaty and gamey. No. I would go All with right. maybe an Emmental. I'll try so, the Emmental with us. I am I'm going to be dangerous. I'm gonna sip, go. We'll sip a few I'm gonna go blue cheese with this. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I'd say. Mm. I can you make a bit of tall? Simple sip. Pour for more. Sip a plate. <laughs> oh well, there there is an Irish cheddar. Oh my gosh. Simple sip almost dropped the bar cart. Oh. Oh yeah, there's a lot of spices, definitely. Do you know? 
The blue cheese goes to the good well. <laughs> the good well? Yeah. Blue, blue cheese, I bet you blue cheese and the steak would go very nice. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I'm not saying if the Amatol is good with this or not. I'm not quite sure yet. Have the blue cheese. No, I'm just going to uh, have too many flavors in my mouth. I'll go with the chocolate at the end. <laughs> yes, chocolate. all red wines go very well. All red wine goes well with chocolate. Not really. Have the blue cheese. This one doesn't like... What did you have with it? Chocolate. You had chocolate? You don't like the chocolate with it? It's not that I don't like the chocolate with it. Like the last wine with chocolate was because, ridiculously good. Well, this is more gamey. This wine is more this gamey. This one so, is yeah. not. I'm gonna have to try some cheese. Rhonda, I think your fireplace would go well with the wine. <laughs> <laughs> this is a really lovely, lovely complex. Very what nice one's wine. this one? This That's is. Charles Charles. Um, All right, we're going Charlesburg. Which oh, is from Simple Holland. Simple is trying a few cheeses. Which is this. from Holland? Yeah. I really like the blue cheese with it. It gives it a lot I of flavor. I tried the Imitol. I'm not, a, I'm not a fan yet. I'm not. I'm, uh, I think you need something that's a little more meaty and gamey. This did not. Le really. Blue. I'll yeah. try the French Camembert if you want to give me some Simple Play. Woo! <laughs> 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 Moving cheese, moving cheese. Moving cheese, cheese in a tray, moving cheese. I think French camembert. Take your time, that's okay. I'm not stressed <laughs> out or anything. I think French camembert is going to go with all of these French wines. Yeah, the French, Personally. they have it all planned. Okay, yeah. but, so the Dutch cheese goes well. Goes very well. All right. The smokiness of the cheese so matches got, with the wine. Very Dutch, nice. The French camembert is fantastic. I'm going to go with the cheddar too. And Switzerland gets along with no one. The Emmental I did not like, but this is the French Camembert with this is fantastic. I it, love it. Doesn't it doesn't overwhelm cheese too. It doesn't, it's doesn't so overwhelm. Sad. It doesn't overwhelm the wine. The, the, you don't want a cheese that overwhelms the wine. You want it to blend with the wine. It can overwhelm the wine if it's a complimentary yeah, overwhelming. Yeah, but, but if it just goes. <laughs> yeah. If you did the oh, blue cheese potatoes <laughs> with the steak and the wine, it would be very nice. <laughs> No, that, oh, yes, oh my god. No, 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 no. Okay, wait a minute. Simple sip cutting in here. He's having an epiphany. That Irish cheddar, you guys both have to try it right now. Oh, huh? Because. Cheddar is like meaty. It's it is the meaty. cheese for this one. Throw me some. Oh, it's, so Rhonda already knew after the bottle of the wine that you knew. The cheddar is this, fantastic. This works. It just works. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm simple, but I mean, Jesus. No, the cheddar works. It does work. Yeah, the Irish cheddar works very well. Isn't that just yeah. the because perfect? It's more, it's more. It's more in line with like. Okay, so meat. out of all these cheeses, what's our favorite? I would say the camembert or that or the cheddar would. The go. cheddar. I like the cheddar. It's the cheddar. Yeah. Okay. Cheddar is pretty good. So double dipping on the cheddar. Yeah. Cause it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> I love you too. And there again, if you haven't remembered who he is, there's our little, our there's little, our little wiener. wine dog, Gewurztraminer wiener dog. Scooby Sip. He is after the little cheddars. As He's well. going after the fromage. Okay, well, yeah. <laughs> we, he can't have any wine, but he, he can, can sample little, the cheese. A bit He's going to have a little big poop later. <laughs> <laughs> a poop to poop. A little poop to poop. Is that good? Well, thank you for joining us. We appreciate the support. Yeah. So how many slippers do you guys give it? I'm going to give it a two. A two. This is a, this is a two and a half. I, I would say a two. This is a. I'm going to slipper toss it. It's a slipper toss. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> it's a slipper toss. <laughs> and if I could throw my wine glass without breaking it, I'd throw so the glass. So we have fantastic, magnificent, sink, wheat. We have a wheat for this. Wine. Yes. We 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 Fantastic. Yeah. This is a very very amazing French wine, red wine. Very nice. Yeah. Thank you so much. Take it on your next weekend barbecue. Fantastic. Yeah. Everyone for joining us. Barbecue wine for sure. Send me a list of next week's. 
Oh, we, we will. So, bonsoir, good evening, mes amis, fellow winos, home alone winos. Pandemic pouring. Pandemic pouring, virtual wine tasting. Number one wine fans. Yeah. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. yeah. <laughs> Sipping in slippers. <laughs> All the hashtags. All the hashtags. All just the put a hashtag yeah. in front of yeah. every one of those. We will see you all again. And just a side week. note, sipping in slippers team number one, Sim simple sip. Even though you can't see his upper body and you just see his slippers, he got very dressed up yes. for this evening because it was French wine and he wanted to be very fancy. He was very le fouf. He's poof to hey, le fouf. You, yeah. you got to look good he if you're drinking nice wine. He put on his best dress wine. shirt. The, the rest of us are in my jeans and I have I bad, wore track pants. Yeah, I have bad toenails, but he got very dressed there, up because there's, there's no he wanted in to it. represent France, which is very fantastic, yeah. very, very. Viva la France! Viva la France! Cheers to France! So this is our finale. Welcome home, back. Pandemic pouring. Welcome home, home alone, winos. This is our closing. Yes, I'm going to wine, so we're jamming. We're jamming. So, just to recap the wines in the house today. Gabrielle Mepre, Coat to Rome, 2018, Saint Bouton. Gerard Bouton, Coat to Jose, 2018. We had some silly bits. Not me. Simple silly bits. Uh, and we have a Bourgogneau, Gamay, 2018. Bourgogneau. Bourgogne. Gamay, 2018, Louis Le Turc. And it's Gerard Bertrand, 2016, Corbiers. Well, what was everyone's favorite? I'm going to go with the Corbiers. Very complex, red, fantastic, but I did like all French wines. I'm a lover of French wines. Trevier, c'est bon? C'est bien. All right, original. What was your favorite? Who's in the house? I think you just asked her. Oh, sorry. Simple. Simple sip. Simple sip is in the house. French wine has gone to my head. Who's simple sip now? Uh, the, I'm sorry, but the last one was the Corbier. Is that how I say it? Corbier? Corbier? Yeah. Corbier? Gerard can have please stand up. Yeah. Please stand Who's up. in the house? Please Who's stand in the house? up. I tell us how to say the names of their wine. But I, that, that last red, I'm, I have two particular red uh, over white or rosé, but that last red we did was just absolutely sick. It was funny that all the other wines with chocolate hey, the were... Hey, ain't moving! <laughs> all the other wines with chocolate were super good. That one, I wasn't a fan with chocolate, one, but that two, cheddar three, was ridiculously good. So it just goes to show you that certain wines pair with certain things even better. And that's my simple We don't advice. know what any of this hip-hop is saying. Hopefully it doesn't offend anybody, but if it does, it sounds great. Yeah, that's like a... Yeah, we don't care. All right, my favorite was actually the Gerard Bouton Rosé, so that's what I'm drinking right now. A little hoop. <laughs> a little rosé and a little hip-hop. We knock me off we go to the weekend. So, uh... This was our weird weekend wrap up for our show. Well, we we are been crazy. We have to learn a new dance room. And uh, Simple Sip has to learn how to Just dance. Spilly sip. Dance and uh, sip. So, new skill for him to learn next week. Anyways, we all. Tune in next week for Malone Winos. Make yeah. me. I'm sipping, sipping, sipping in slippers. I'm from Spain. Six bottles later and it all tastes the same. And it might taste turkey and it can taste cherry. 
And it can sometimes taste like a strawberry So cap break in capsule in a long taxi home Wrong turn at Tuscany and ended up at Rome So take off your slippers and put down the glass Just drink from the bottle cause you're drunk off your butt Sipping, sipping, sipping and suppers I'm feeling, I'm feeling so fine There's nothing, ain't nothing, no oh,